First alert, Storm Center updates. And if you're enjoying that extra daylight in the evenings this summer, unfortunately, today was our last 8 p.m. sunset until next May. We are losing about a minute and a half of daylight every afternoon now. And later this month, our sunset will be at 725. And of course, we'll continue to lose that daylight here as we head towards the minimum day length, which is, of course, the winter solstice in December. Meanwhile, water vapor imagery showing uh, this orange, which is some drier air in the mid and upper levels. That's really helping to keep us very dry uh, as far as a lack of rainfall goes but uh, to the north we have that active jet stream and uh, ongoing severe weather across parts of the southeast a little unusual for this time of the year uh, but our upper level pattern shows uh, some upper ridging still in place over the area of course it has been quite as strong the last couple of days but that continues to strengthen heading into this weekend and that'll be sitting right on top of us for the weekend and early next week so it looks like we're actually going to warm up those temperatures just a few more degrees uh, back to near record temperatures temperatures here as we go into early next week. Now some of the models do want to slide our ridge back to the west, which would at least allow some additional rain chances to pop up later next week. Uh, but some of those uh, models want to keep the ridge right on top of us where it uh, where it is and where it has been. So uh, we'll have to see which one of those plays out, but it's looking like it's going to be hot here uh, regardless. So you probably noticed it's windy today. We have high pressure at the surface in the Gulf. You can see that uh, clockwise flow around the high pressure bringing in this uh, southerly winds. And then we have low pressure off to the north and west, and that has really increased those southerly winds across the area, and they will continue here through tomorrow. So they've been out of the south and south-southwest about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We've seen some gusts in that 25 to 30 mile per hour range, so they'll stay pretty breezy here again tomorrow, and uh, still a little breezier than usual really through Friday as we do have that increased pressure gradient here across the region. Lows tonight into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees here in the metro area. We've really had a hard time time dropping below 80 out at the airport. So that'll likely be the case again tomorrow morning. That highs tomorrow back to the triple digits. It looks for all of us anywhere from 100 to 104 degrees for our Thursday. The record for the area tomorrow is 105. Excessive heat warning in effect tomorrow as well. We'll have that humidity leading to feels like temperatures up to 115 degrees. And this is in effect for the entire state on Thursday. Uh, so for Thursday, little to no chance for rain. Rain chances here at 10% or less as we just continue to see these hot and mainly dry conditions. So mostly sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow. Could see a stray shower or two, but otherwise another hot and a sunny day across the area with not a lot of change in our forecast. Winds stay up tomorrow out of the southwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Some gusts up to about 20 or 25 miles per hour by lunchtime. We'll be into the upper 90s by 5 o'clock into the low 100s. And as we look at the next seven days, you do see triple digits are on the board for the entire seven days again and it looks like they could actually continue through all of next week potentially and also we do have some rain chances on the board as we get into early next week uh, in the 30 to 40 percent range as of now that's about all we have to work with in the rain range